HQTs and happy Saturday night. Celebrity Big Brother is causing quite the storm, despite the fact that Stormy Daniels has um, pulled out last minute. The show decided to screen her intro video anyway, giving viewers a taste of what they're missing. The adult star would surely have provided plenty of scandal and one very concerned ex. But forget that fake news, who's in it to win it tonight? I'm Shazza Carpenter, your big sister from another mister, and this is HQ Trivia. With your knowledge is up to par, you could be that star. And the rules are simple. I'm going to ask you a series of questions from easy to hard. You've got 10 whole seconds to tap on that answer. Get it correct, you move on. Answer all 12 right, you win or split the cash. The extra lives invite your friends to HQ using your code, of course. And tonight we are giving away a scandalous £1,000. That's enough to kick out your housemate for about a month, build your own diary room, or for an epic night out with your own big bruv. But before you knock it, you've got to stock it. Thanks to Jake for that one. Let's get to the quizzing. Here we go with Q1. According to the phrase, what does a stitch in time save? A draft email, nine, a penalty shootout. A stitch in time, not a snitch in time. No snitching. England considered it against Colombia, but thankfully we stuck with Jordan Pickford instead. More numerical than clerical. It's a stitch in time, saves nine, doesn't it? 78,000 of you knew that right on time with the right answer. The phrase may sound like quantum quackery, but it's just talking about mending small rips in fabric before they get bigger. Q2, by definition, what kind of code typically consists of ones and zeros? Binary code, green cross code, dress code. I like my ones with a lot of zeros after them. If you went for the green cross code, then the lights are staying red for you tonight. Computerized chitter chatter, it's the binary code. That's the answer we were looking for. 76,000 of you cracked that one. Binary combines a series of ones and zeros to represent letters, digits, and other characters like a digitized version of Morse code. Now tomorrow I will be hosting the big Sunday game. I can't wait. Invite your friends to HQ to get an extra life. It could help you win 8,000 big ones. That's happening at 9 p.m. BST. Be there or cry that you missed it. Q3. In cricket, what's the name of the line that bowlers cannot encroach when bowling, wrinkle, crease, blemish. You've really crossed the line now. A cricket ball will leave a proper bruise on you, but we're not looking for blemishes here. The line you can't help but laugh at, it's the crease. And you were bowled over right there. 70,000 of you got that right. Bowlers have to release the ball before reaching the crease, giving the batsman a chance to cover his googlies. It's shout out time everyone, so pump up that volume. Congrats to Joe and Anthony from Crosby who got engaged today, yay. Hi to Rachel, Gavin, Catherine and the rest of the family playing tonight on holiday in Italy, lucky you. Hi to Connie, her brother and the rest of the fam. Michael Jolly is volunteering at a kids club tonight and still HQing. Hello James Allen, happy belated birthday to siblings Monica and Vinny. Also a big hello to Polly and her wedding guests in Cornwall. Have fun and good luck to all of you tonight. Here we go with Q4. Which of these books opens with the line, all children except one grow up? The Jungle Book, Peter Pan, The Railway Children. We grow up and the fun is over. We all wish we could have stayed a kid forever, but whose main character did exactly that? The flying fetus himself. Peter Pan is the answer we were looking for. 67,000 if you believed in that one. He may have stayed young, but could Peter drive a car or pay council tax or get a senior's bus pass? Okay, okay, he wins anyway. Q5, the Annie celebrate accomplishments in which of the following? Bodybuilding, musicals, animation. Annie, are you okay? Are you okay, Annie? She told us it's a hard knock life and we believed her, but Annie won't be winning an Annie celebrating cartooners over crooners. They award animation, the Annies do. Oh my goodness, look at that, that was a savage one. Over 40,000 of you down here on Q5, 24,991 if you nailed it though, you are moving forward. The Annies only gave out lifetime achievement awards to begin with, but started dishing out gongs willy nilly in the 90s. Moving on to Q6, which James Cameron movie was originally meant to come out in 1999. Avatar, Titanic, The Terminator. Three blockbuster hits. 
None of them were set in 1999, but who was meant to be partying like they were, giving us 3D glasses and 10-foot Smurfs? It was Avatar. Great movie right there. 19,237 of you riding the back of a mountain banshee right now. The sci-fi spectacle was shelved till 2009 when they finally had the budget for those special effects. It was well worth the wait. Q7, which of the following is one of the Bennett sisters in Jane Austen's Pride and Prejudice? Anne, Catherine, Charlotte. The Bennett sisters, not those other sisters. Three Austin-worthy names, but who was born a Bennett instead? More of a Kitty than a Charlie. Catherine. Catherine is your right answer. 8,703 of you feeling really proud right now. There was a Charlotte in the novel, but she was a friend of the family who married Mr. Collins. If anyone needed to acquire pride and prejudice, it was certainly her. Q8, which of these games is believed to have been partly inspired by a nobleman who imprisoned Henry III, Machiavelli, Carcassonne, Simon Says. It's all fun and games until you get it wrong. Okay, it's time for us to play a game. You've got to tap on your screen right here. Tap, 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 keep on tapping, tap, tap, tap. Didn't work? Well, that's because I didn't say Simon Says. You know the rules of that game. Sorry, guys, I had to. 5,829 of you got that right. You are moving forward. The game may have been around since the Romans, but the name comes from Simon de Montfort. Q9, we are so close. Which of these British firsts took place the earliest in the 1970s? Public Concord flight, IVF birth, female prime minister. We were before our time. The Thatchinator took office in 79, but who got a three-year head start on her? Brett and Jermaine's debut show, it was the first public Concorde flight, and you are speeding forward, 2,433 of you are. The supersonic show-off averaged 1,300 miles per hour, but would be happy with even one mile an hour now. Q10, Charles Darwin was an early innovator of which item of furniture? Office chair, hammock, garden swing. They all sound pretty comfy to me right now, standing here in these painful heels. He sure had the beard for it, but Darwin didn't have a hand in the hammock. Better at spinning than swinging. It was the office chair. You're holding onto your seats, 942 of you. That was a toughie right there. That was a brutal one. Darwin replaced the legs of his armchair with wheels so he could scoot between specimens without getting up. Lazy. Q11, the penultimate round. What 1960s group is credited with creating the most sample piece of music in history? The Beach Boys, the Winston's, the Shadows. Now this is an interesting question here. More than 2,000 songs have pinched the drumbeat, but who made Amen Brother in the first place? A cluster of Churchills. The Winstons is the answer that we were looking for. 466 of you right on beat. Stick spins at the ready, because we are drum soloing into the final round. 466 of you still in the game. Another 65 using their extra lives to get back in. 1,000 pounds right there in front of your face. Who's going to take it home? It's Q12. Which of these is not one of the top 10 most downloaded iOS apps of all time? YouTube. WeChat, Gmail. My fingers are crossed so tightly for all of you. They're all more popular than I am, sadly. But who didn't make the app store's cool club? We don't really use WeChat over here, but its Chinese fan base have pushed it into ninth place. The only one that is BFFs with PDFs. Gmail is the answer that we were looking for. We have 287 winners, my lovely. <laughs> Congratulations to our 287 winners on this Saturday night. Well done, you are taking on £3.49p. We've got Lauren Jane G, we've got Reynolds 7 with a big smile, you, so you should be smiling. Most Wanted, we've got Big D Maynard, I think that says, and a bunch of other winners as well. What are you going to do with the cash? Maybe catch a cricket match, but mind those googlies. Get yourself a hammock on wheels, download that Winston's classic, make your own hits. 
they get 2001 samples. There's a lot you can do with that £3.48p. Nice one, H cuties. Many have come, but you have conquered. I'm Shazza Carpenter, and you can find me right here on social media. Come say hello and be my mate for life. And of course, I'm back tomorrow at 9 p.m. for the big Sunday game. Remember, we have £8,000 up for grabs. Will you be lucky enough to walk away with the cash? Until then, winners enjoy your earnings. Players enjoy your learnings. See you soon. Bye.